The House and Senate are working on different versions of the bill, and reconciliation may be difficult. Critics contend the Repeat Sexual Predator Prevention Act erodes due process protections. Supporters argue the law is necessary to make it easier to prosecute serial sexual predators by allowing their prior bad acts to be used as evidence against them. It comes down to a question of credibility. The bill requires the state to file a motion of intent, including a description of the prior bad act evidence they'll bring up. The state must hold a hearing outside the presence of a jury to determine admissibility. The court must find clear and convincing evidence of prior sexual assault behavior and determine whether the value of evidence is not outweighed by the danger of unfair prejudice. City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby has been fighting for passage for the past five years. She says the law will be used when the defendant claims the sex was consensual or that a child was lying. Having the ability to be able to negate any sort of uh, defense, consent defense or fabrication defense uh, when the victim's credibility is being called into question is going to be helpful. The majority is declared passed. It passed the Senate unanimously. Allowing judges to admit evidence of past sexual assault charges into a defendant's trial establishes a pattern of behavior. But the Senate version raises some questions. But it's somewhat confusing to me. The city delegation asked Mosby and her staff about it during a previously scheduled visit. We're heartened that both versions provide important defendant protections while ensuring the prosecutors can bring in evidence of other sexual assaults. The House version of the bill is different because it allows defendants to cross-examine past accusers in a hearing before evidence is presented at trial. The House will soon vote on final passage. Even though the bill is supported by the governor, there's no guarantee it's going to land on his desk. Differences between the two bills have to be hammered out in a conference committee. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.